Moo by my cheese lovers, it's Mr. Moo reporting live from the barnyard, here to talk about one of my favorite cheeses, Hallerhacker. Now some people struggle with how to pronounce this cheese, so let me give you a pro tip. Think Larry David with a hair caught in your throat. Hallerhacker. This cheese is made by Walter Ross, who's a second generation cheesemaker, and he makes this cheese in a little quaint town called Tuvridgeville, which is in Switzerland and only has about 300 people and it's about 700 meters above sea level. The dairy in which this cheese is made was built in 1896. Walter's family bought this dairy in 1987, and Walter started making this cheese in 2003. He was originally an Appenzeller producer, one of the best in Switzerland, and one day his brother-in-law, who was experimenting with various new bovine to Switzerland, gave him some Jersey milk. Now, Jersey milk's notorious for being full fat. So Walter made this cheese and he aged this cheese longer than he's ever aged a cheese before. And as the months progressed, the flavor got bigger and bigger and bigger. So Walter had a moment where he went, aha, I have an idea. Hollerhocker is going to be a new cheese where we take the brown vow, the brown Swiss cows from the 13 contributing herds, and we don't skim the milk. It's full fat milk. And he thought, let's use traditional calf stomach rennet and let's age this cheese for 10 months. And boom, Hollerhocker was born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, this cheese is made with farmers that are delivering milk twice a day, in the morning and at night. And it's so cute. Some farmers are delivering it in a car, some Farmers are delivering it in a tractor. Some of the farmers are delivering it in this thing I've never seen before called a uniped. And this is like a lifestyle for Walter. He actually lives above the dairy, and this is what he does all day, every day. He sometimes works three weeks in a row, and this man will even put the label on himself. Now, let's try the cheese. So, first off, this cheese is a cook press curd, it's a wash rind. First thing I like to do is I like to smell the paste. Whew, fantastic. I get some brothiness, I get some nuttiness, I get some lacticness. Then I take the paste and I move it around in my fingers and I throw it in my mouth. Mm. Immediately I'm struck with this like garlic leaky vegetal note. It's also really lactic more on the side of like brown butter or cream. It's also brothy, meaty, which I think comes from the traditional calf stomach rennet. And the texture, this texture is as if creamy peanut butter and candy wax from those little cute candies we had as a kid. They were like little soda bottles and you'd bite off the top and you'd drink the syrup. That waxiness together. I love this cheese because to me, a sign of a great cheese is something that you could eat like popcorn and I could totally eat this cheese like popcorn. So, if you can't remember the name Hocker, just think about the label, the creepy boy cheese and eat it up because this is a labor of love and supporting Walter means you're supporting a traditional village dairy. Mubama!